Hi guys, this is Jerry. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you this particular vehicle, the touchscreen in the center. So this particular vehicle is a 2022 Volkswagen Golf GTI. Uh, but in terms of the infotainment system, this is going to be very, very similar with um, the newer generation, the MK8, Mark 8, what we call it. Golf, either base model Golf, Golf R-Line, Golf GTI, Golf uh, R, the proper R, um, in the future. So let's have a quick look. This is how the dashboard and everything looks like. Today I'm going to show you everything on that screen. Um, before we go into that, just small things. Um, I'm going to put timestamps down below in the comment and in the description. So you are able to click down the bottom um, to go through different steps. In case you know this, you just keep clicking. I'll show you everything by step by step. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing one of these vehicles, contact us at Abit Pukikawi. We are the authorized dealership for Volkswagen, MG, Kia and Nissan in New Zealand, specifically in Auckland. And uh, if you like this video, it's going to take me hopefully 40 to 50 minutes to go through everything. So that would be really appreciated if you can hit the subscribe button and click the like down below. That would be really helpful for the channel to grow. So let's dive into it. All right, we're finally set up. So now this is how the vehicle looks like when you switch on the vehicle. So this is the whole display and you do get direct buttons underneath for your quick systems so I'm gonna quickly explain the bottom one first so you get a hazard light in the middle that's all pretty standard you don't worry about that first one is the assistant so you get different assistant systems on this vehicle you simply press the button or click this arrow button that allows you to go into this I'll explain this later climate that basically you press this climate control that allows you to go into the climate so you do have different areas you can choose your climate control first one on and off button on the top left that allows you to switch on switch off as standard you get smart climate as well so that allows you to actually quickly set up let's say warm your feet or warm your hands on the top on the bottom or anything like that this is not available because our engine is not on so that, that at the moment shows gray color but if you simply pat tap this button that allows you to quickly go into settings for example default your um, windows all that things you can change your temperature at the bottom if you press sync button both would be the same temperature otherwise unsync or we'll press this individually that allow for example if I sync press it individually that will unsync the temperature so you do have two different temperatures on this particular spec you also get the rear windscreen uh, rear sorry rear air um, air conditioning control so that allows you to actually physically control the rear one you can also lock the rear one as well for the younger passenger so this is a quick display information and if you do want to the classic climate control this is how the classic climate control screen looks like so you either press auto so that allows to you to basically switch on the vehicle automatic either low medium or high that's the fan blower uh, so most people are going to be okay with medium i assume um, if you don't want the auto, you can just simply tap this button to change your directions for the aircon. So up uh, at the windscreen, up on the top on your hand, at the bottom on your feet, uh, recirculation, max AC or no AC, uh, not max AC, sorry, uh, AC or no AC for air conditioning. And that's your uh, fan speed. Just press this or drag this either up and down. And then you can also, again, you can select rear, you can select the temperature, you can go left and right on this one as well. So press plus, minus, or swap left and right. That allows you to drag your temperature. Another way, you can notice these bars at the bottom that allows you to press this and press this. Again, plus or minus, or swap plus or minus to change your temperature. So those are the conditioning controls on this particular screen you also get air care um, so just basically use a sort of a aggressive filter to, to to try to get your air sort of clean cleaner inside the vehicle otherwise you don't have to use this and you do have other air conditioning settings everything you do have information that explain what the air conditioning is all about so yeah this is how to use the climate control in this particular screen all right um, and in time, if you do have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll be able to answer your questions as well. Then the left one, you get parking braking, uh, so the parking sensors, parking cameras, everything. So if you do want to engage that parking assist um, or parking cameras or parking, how do you say, 
um, uh, sensors you can press this button to engage and disengage uh, but if you individually press this button that allows you to go into the parking assistance system so press this button that allows you to go into the parallel parking so in, in case you want to use this feature that allows the vehicle to start doing the parallel parking for you there's quite quite a few online videos about this i'll hopefully be able to do a video for you in the future so this is the what this button is for Make sense and then you get driving mode control so again this is the gti version so gti does have eco comfort sport and individual if you go into individual press this bar over here that allows you to change different driving controls on your individual settings so that's how to control display simply by pressing the mode button if you do drive other different mode you may have different buttons or different mode all that things different vehicle will have different features small things so yeah that's all done with these four buttons um, assistance I'll talk to you later by the way so and we're going to the center screen this is how the home screen looks like you're able to swap up and down to go into all your menus this is the main menu so that allows you to see different dots on this menu you're also able to select left or right to change your different sort of center menu design so you can see three dots at the bottom you can go to the first one that's your all the, uh, all the apps and second one that's your navigation that's for your radio control again press this home button that's for your phone and uh, vehicle control and uh, swap left again that's all your phone connection that's your driving data that's your quick settings everything and if you press this button again that goes back to the main display again on some of the models you do have a wave gesture control occasionally works occasionally it doesn't so this time it doesn't also whenever you're in the home screen you are able to just swap down from the top just like your phone notification you can change the brightness of the screen you can click either bright or dark display uh, now obviously you adjust automatically you adjust depends on headlights all that things you can quickly dis um, disenable your auto stop start function so the engine doesn't cut off at traffic light when you slow, slow down to zero uh, audio you can mute and mute quickly you can press home button that guides you to home directly you can use your navigation voice command to on and off as well you can do other notification in case there is any otherwise press this button it will go up just like your phone notification like your iphone or anything like that pretty simple so after that we're going to show you everything one by one from this screen first one we have the telephone simply press the telephone button that allows you to select your telephone or connect your telephone so now you can see this is the name of this particular device again you don't have uh, you don't have the same name on your device um, what you need to do just go to your phone and search this particular number uh, i'm gonna quickly go up my phone for example let's go into the setting menu let's go to bluetooth and it is on at the moment it's gonna search at the bottom just wait give it a few seconds There we go it's up just press this button so that matches the thing so press pair on your phone press yes on the screen and you can allow your contacts if you want i'm gonna click don't allow because this is not my vehicle i don't have to on my phone it shows connected now the vehicle will ask you do you want hands free or apple carplay you have two ways to connect your smartphone this vehicle does support uh, wireless apple carplay and wireless um, Android Auto if you do have Android um, in some instance you don't have the wireless couple and wireless Android Auto so it's totally up to you to see if you want to use that if you press now now you can just use Bluetooth that what that means is your Bluetooth will be able to just use the vehicle as hands-free you can make phone calls you can play music from Bluetooth but if you do use Apple CarPlay well, I'm gonna use that now so click use Apple CarPlay I'm gonna click use Apple CarPlay on the screen as well so you can basically upload your navigation use your phone screen on this on this particular screen you can now see that's my phone screen or my phone apps that supports apple carplay i can use my phone just like a stand use this screen on my phone i can have access to spotify google maps iphone maps messages other things i can use voice command by pressing or hold this button on the bottom and you can use siri to connect your smartphone other things so this is how the apple carplay looks like if you do want to go back home screen press this home screen or press the volkswagen logo that brings us back to the app connect otherwise press the home screen um, app connect you can see this icon pops up apple carplay press this button that brings us back to apple carplay but if your phone is connected by bluetooth you are able to press this button just connect bluetooth so now just wait for a couple seconds my phone will connect again and click ok 
what that means is App Connect will disappear, Apple CarPlay, you notice that, but in the telephone instead, we're going to be able to see my contacts, see my call history, see my dials, if my phone is connected, uh, authorized for the um, connection. I can then play music from my phone, so to play music, press the radio and media button, simply go to media and go to Bluetooth, this is my phone is connected, I can select whatever I want to play on my phone. So two ways to connect your smartphone, if your smartphone supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly, you are able to use that, just what I show you now. If it doesn't support, what you need to do is down there at underneath, let's go down, so you do have two cables underneath, you are able to use that cable to connect your smartphone that allows you to connect Apple CarPlay and Android Auto using your cable basically, otherwise wirelessly is a much easier way. So yeah, we've already done the phone connection. Is the media and radio button. So press the media and radio. And now we're listening to the radio at the moment. So you can see all the radio stations, everything by what I have right now. I can click the back button to go to FM if you like. So that allows us to change all the things on the radio, on the on the media. I'm gonna build this first. And then you can select your favorites. So you either press the plus button to, to plus your current radio stations or if you go into the different radio stations, for example, Gold, we are listening to, and we'll go to music, press plus again. That allows us to change you my favorites. And if you do want to delete anything, just press delete at this pencil button. So that allows you to change anything. If you press media, that clicks through your Bluetooth or your media, everything. You can do different source as well. Otherwise, press setting button. You can set up radio controls, um, arrow button, all stations. That means if you press the arrow button on the steering controls, that, allow, that will go into different radio stations in the area. Otherwise, you can select it, go to favorites as well. Go to favorites, that means it's gonna select different between favorites instead of select different radio stations. Hope that makes sense. Um, other things you do have, yeah, this, this doesn't, this, yeah, this is just a standard f uh, features. Uh, media control, you can select your different Bluetooth audio devices in case you have multiple devices connected. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all about the radio control. And press back, that allows to go back to the radio control basically. And next one, when you have the navigation, so press the navigation button. So the navigation button has different menus on the top. You can either search an address, suggest it, give you a suggested destination, latest destination again when you type something it's going to show up you have your favorites you can set your home you can set your work as well otherwise press the map button that allows you to go to the map at the moment because we are displaying this map on the center screen we're going to bring it back so press the menu button at the bottom we're going to click unclick the show mapping cluster what that means is the map is not going to show on the center uh, digital dash instead it's going to sh show you on the screen itself instead so that allows us to drag left and right or press auto it brings back you can press the north or the vehicle direction By pressing that again you can change your direction as either um, auto that means your your um, your screen will dim itself or night, that's the night version, that's the day, that's the day version. So that's how to change the navigation look, basically. Again, if you don't want to uh, search any destination, just press test um, on the top left, press search. What I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna quickly type a random address, let's say 20 space King Street space Pukkakawi and it's gonna search at the bottom there you go you can see the result shows one press the result this is the one result we have because I'm typing in quite a lot but if you are only just gonna type 20 or King Street you may have different addresses I'm gonna press this it's gonna tell me I'm about one minute away 500 meters away press start please drive to the route shown there we go the the, the sort of the blue icon, blue light, that shows our destination, show you you have about 500 meters away, and if you want to cancel that, press the cancel button, that will cancel the navigation basically, that's how to use that. In case you do want to select different typing material, so this is the, the current typing, so you are able to press this icon on the top to type differently, you can just type city first, type street second, type house number and later, then press 
enter latitude and or even you can even enter latitude and longitude as well otherwise you just press the house number it should come up with the result as well so that's how to type address basically just like that and you can set up your home address again just do favorites and set use current address you can cancel you can change whatever you like that's totally up to you so yeah we are done with the navigation next one we have the vehicle settings so there's gonna be a lot to talk about so vehicle settings you have data at the very bottom that allows you to show your driving range your since start all that things again you have long term you have since refuel that tells you all that things this vehicle is a brand new vehicle so it has not been driven it doesn't show anything yet but they will show your thing if you do want to um how do you say reset just press that button to reset the whole thing by the way and press statues that allows you to see what your vehicle statues are at the moment auto stop start that's on at the moment press it to off or press it to sorry press it to off and press this this is the activated service with the tick at the moment that means your service is okay so you have 15,000 kilometers to go that's a New Zealand service reminder and then we have tire pressure monitoring system so you can see your tire pressure monitoring system is okay but if one of your tire pressure is too low it's going to give you a warning uh, at least this is not going to be the green tick by the way so yeah that's how the status is and press the vehicle that allows you to go into the interior and the exterior features so i'm going to go through the interior first we have heads up display so at this vehicle again this is the high spec so we do have heads up display active or deactivate it so that's your choice you can change positions go up and down left and right and you can do brightness you can do skim as well so you can do skim as snow that means you have a blue icon if you do the standard it's gonna be white icon so it depends on how you like it even if you're not driving snow you, you can absolutely go to snow because the blue icon is actually quite visible that's my personal preference you can have content uh, driver assist and navigation that means your adaptive cruise control that things will show up on the di um, display if you don't like it you can disenable that and this keeps popping don't worry about that cockpit so that's your cockpit on the top you can have your eco trips or not so you can reset your all, th all things if you if you like it interior lighting and um, so that's your instrument lighting for basically both uh, screens at the moment you can do left and right that allows you to dim this or bright this you can change the design to bright or dark so bright is this white scheme dark is this dark scheme that's how to change that next one we can always swap left uh, we can always go to exterior sorry and uh, so first one exterior we get comfort light so at the moment this vehicle does have these comfort light settings that means your light uh, durations and entry light durations will be 10 seconds when you switch off switch on the vehicle the headlight stays on for 10 seconds you can increase to 15 to 20 you can decrease to zero if you like it um, that's up to you basically and we have tires again this is a tire reset you can reset the tires you can do speed warning on winter tires you can do speed warning at particular case as well uh, but in new zealand you don't really use this unless you are really really into south or uh, south, south island um next one mirrors so obviously the mirror got sync adjustments what that means is if you switch the mirror adjustments on the driver side the passenger side also follow your mirror small micro adjustments lowering reverse gear means you reverse when you reverse the, the passenger um, mirror will drop down a little bit for the unlocking that's pretty simple you can disengage, disengage that if you like it and uh, we have headlights that allows us to switch on switch off the headlights you have switch on time at the moment's medium that means you switch on headlights um, so the headlights automatically switch on at medium level sort of thing and automatic headlight control in rain that means if the rain sensing wiper is working the automatic headlights will switch on itself automatically uh, convenience turn signal that means if you do the turn signal not all the way but just just a slow touch and that will give you a three turns so that's quite handy for most people as assume uh, but if you don't like it you can try, you can do that uh, travel mode that's left and drive so we are driving on the left in new zealand so this is selected as this will be default setting for your country's setting so you don't need to change that to be fair um yeah after that this is the first screen of the exterior just note until you notice you can see interior exterior um but uh, exterior you get four dots at the bottom swap right we get brakes as well so that allows us to see your e stability control system at the moment is activated if you do want to have a little bit more fun you can deactivate this or you can do spot stability control as well so that's up to you 
again swipe right again we have two more things windows that means the convenience window at the moment is off but if you do select all windows uh, when it's hot summer or anything like that you can use your key blade press unlock button and hold all your windows will drop down press lock button and hold uh, and all your windows will drop all the way up or go back all the way up you can also select just driver window so only the one single driver window will work otherwise all window will work so my first personal preference is all windows it doesn't really hurt anything to be fair but it's, it's added a little bit more convenience that's why it's called convenience opening Central locking at the moment, so it's activate. Obviously, key this access, so it's activate. That means when you get to the door, um, when you put your hand on in the uh, door handle, uh, ultimately unlocks and locks as well. Um, unlock vehicle when approaching. So what that means is, if your vehicle is remains locked, but you're approaching the vehicle with I think five to ten meters, something like that, without you even touching anything, the vehicle unlocks itself. But this is something I personally don't like because we deal with a lot of yard cars. We don't want the cars to keep unlocking itself. So I do disengage that myself, but it's up to you to see if you want to use that. And door unlocking. So at the moment, we do have single door. That means when you unlock the door, only your, the door handle you touch uh, unlocks, or the other door remains locked. You do have to either press the unlock button again or press the unlock button inside the vehicle to be able to unlock everything. So otherwise, I personally do like all doors. That means when you touch the door handle, all the doors are unlocked. Interior monitoring system. So it is recommended to be on in case you lock someone accidentally in the vehicle where there's a motion detection in the vehicle. It's going to give you beeping sound or warning. So that's the interior monitoring. Swipe right again. Service positions. That means your wipers will automatically go to service positions. So that allows you to change your wiper without damaging the bumper. Basically, and wipers, you can change your wipe automatically rain again. This is the same thing, rear, rear window wiping in reverse gear. So when you put on reverse, as long as your wind, uh, windscreen wiper is on automatic or on position, it will automatically wipe the rear one. So yeah, that's everything about the vehicle settings, uh, statues, and that, all that things. That's where you can find. And uh, next one, we've already done app connect, but in case you want to connect anything, change anything, just go into the settings, that allows you to change your mobile devices, connect all the other things. Sound system, and this is pretty simple. Just like all the other Volkswagen, you're able to change your um, all these small settings and that allows you to change everything. And you can do focus, front, back, left and right. You can do volume, adjust your radio volume, uh, all that volume, reduce volume when parking, everything like that. And you can do different settings for the touch screen tone. And that means when you touch anything, it's gonna give you a beep feedback. I personally don't like it. Um, yeah, so that's about that. Next one, we have background. So this is the cool setting about the new golf. We're gonna have the ambient lighting around the vehicle. And again, this is controlled by the whole thing. So you get the mood. That means this is all preset. You can change this by pressing these buttons, everything. So when you change this in, into the settings, your, your digital dash, like again, I can't see, I can't show you in, the, in this video, but I will basically you tap this, all your scheme, your color choices are gonna change. You can do individual, you can do automatic, you can switch it off as well. You can do brightness, left and right, up and down. And then you can do individual as well. In individual, you get different color scheme, everything. So this is a full color, press this, means every single one will be the same color as your color one, if that makes sense. And then if you do this, that means on your top ones will be the same color as your color one. The bottom ones will be color two. Otherwise, press this so that you get different colors, scheme, everything. You get all the colors in on your even on your app, um, wireless charging pad at your footrest uh, around the door cabin, around the around the um, door seal, uh, around the sort of door handles as well. So that's pretty cool. And again, you can change the different individual brightness up and down. Or this up and down or this up and down as well so that allows you to change whatever you like with your color scheme of your sort of background lighting you get all sorts of colors to choose from because this is a higher spec you do get a lot more, lot more than the base model again if you have a base model or you don't have this ignore this or you have slightly less colors next one help it doesn't really doesn't really do anything, but it, it just allows you to show you how everything works in case you don't know how it works, everything. Uh, you can do a few more settings. Uh, settings, this is your screen settings. You can set up screens at your, how do you say, your screen brightness, medium, all that things. You can change your time and date. Um, in New Zealand, you do have to notice this either time format 
and also you do have the clock winding so read the menu or auto you can change this by yourself so that's pretty much it and language this is English in New Zealand so you're gonna be okay and you get voice command you get mobile devices you can restore your factory settings if you like um, yeah so that's about the vehicle settings the screen settings last one is the assistant systems I have to do an individual um, individual video about these assistant systems how to control this what does this mean and all that so i'll hopefully see you in the next video this is pretty uh, much I about think. this video i hope this is helpful uh, whether you are looking to buy one or you have owned one you don't know what it works i wish this is easy for you to get into use to the new golf everything uh, one thing i forgot to mention is your volume you do have a quick volume adjustment you can swap left and right or tap this button to plus or minus to change your volume, uh, volume settings um, yeah, I think this is a quick video to show you everything. Uh, I do hope you enjoy that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if the quality is not so good and the lighting we have to do it in the dark. I just have no time during the work to do this. But yeah, please, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be really helpful for the channel to grow and like the video if it's helpful. And yeah, make sure you share it to someone who, who may be interested in, in the golf or anything like that. And uh, yeah, any questions, leave in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.